So my name is Tiffany Harkelroad and I'm the programming coordinator from the Ford City Public Library in Ford City, Pennsylvania. Just to give you a little bit of information about our library, um, we are uh, fairly small. We have a population service area of about 3,000. In our service area and our town, about 25% of the households have children that are 18 and under. Um, we are on the same block as the high school, so we have a really accessible teen population. As a result, we have really focused on providing them with programming that surrounds their needs and their interests. And one of the big interests in our area is programming for the arts, arts related, theater, fine arts, media arts. Um, in 2012, a local youth who was very connected to the library and involved in a lot of our programming committed suicide as a result of being bullied in school. And since then, these schools have really ramped up their anti-bullying education and bullying awareness. And we wanted to get on board with that and provide another outlet for these kids away from the confines of school to process through some of these feelings, to open up about if they've been bullied, and to learn what they can do when they see bullying happening or how to deal with bullying in their own lives. We created a program that we have called Art Against Bullying and to complete this program we partnered with an outside organization called the You Will Rise Project. The You Will Rise Project was founded by two fine artists named Linda Regula and Paul Richmond who both experienced extreme bullying throughout their lives and have decided to create this project to give not just youths but adults as well an outlet to talk about their experiences, to share the anti-bullying message. So they started off with a website where people could submit their artworks. This would be um, media arts, written art, any kind of artwork that spread an anti-bullying message. And that website really blossomed and they started doing sub-projects that were very topical. Um, they did a project called Art for Michael, which was focused on a boy who was bullied because he loved My Little Pony and he tried to commit suicide and he is now um, permanently disabled because of that. And they've had fundraisers for his family. Um, they do outreach in their community in Ohio, which is where uh, both of those artists are from. And the organization is sort of stationed in Ohio as well. This was the first opportunity You Will Rise Project had to sort of take their show on the road. So they traveled to Pennsylvania, and what we did is we offered this program as a weekend workshop. So it was a Saturday and a Sunday. Um, no, it was a Friday and a Saturday, excuse me. It was a Friday and a Saturday, and it was open to all teens and even preteens because teens aren't the only ones bullied in school. So we set the ages from 11 to 20 years old. Um, all of this was free for the kids to attend. All of the art materials were provided by the library. The space was provided by the library. And we even provided food for the kids throughout the two days. All of the education was provided by the You Will Rise project. They talked to the kids about what it feels like to be bullied, um, how you can prevent bullying, how you can process through those feelings in healthy ways instead of resulting with self-harm or attempting suicide or other issues. So this gave them um, some education on healthy ways to process their feelings. The program culminated with an art show at the end of the weekend, and this was a public art show. We took all of the works that the kids created throughout the weekend, and we hung a real art show in the library. Then we had an opening night reception where they could invite their family, their friends, members of the community to come see their works and talk about what they had experienced in this workshop. We then let that lot, that uh, art hang in our library for the remainder of the month of August. At the end of the month of August, the kids were allowed to take their art home. And we actually had one boy who built sort of a toy. He called it the Bully Mobile. And he was so proud of it that he donated it to the library for us to keep permanently so that other kids could learn about um, bullying, even if they hadn't gotten to go to this workshop. 
the results were beyond anything we could have imagined. We hoped for seven kids at this workshop, and we got a total of 13 youths who participated throughout the weekend. Some of them could not participate for the whole day. They, they sort of came and went, and they worked on some projects on their own. They worked on projects together. They created themed projects around cyberbullying. They did individual portraits based on how bullying made them feel. And then their friends and their family got to attend the art show. Um, a nice part about the art hanging in our library for the remainder of the month of August is August was the month that my library hosted our district library meeting. So actually, librarians from our entire library district got to see the kids' art hanging in the library. Um, some of it was very raw and harsh to see, but it sparked a lot of great conversation here in the library. A lot of patrons would come up to us at the circulation desk and say, you know, what's going on? What is this? What is this? You're a loser that I see on this picture. And we got to talk about what we had worked with the kids to help them process. These are just a few pictures of the actual workshop in progress. You can see that the kids are working on some group projects. They're working on individual projects. And then here is um, some examples of the results. So you can see um, in the middle there, that portrait is one person's image of how bullying made them feel. Um, we just had tons of really astounding works of art uh, that hung in our library for that month. We did get a group of all the kids who got to attend the reception. Unfortunately, not all of the participants were able to come to the reception, but you can see we did get a pretty good turnout, and most of them had brought family members with them, which was fantastic. Um, so we are really excited. Uh, we learned a lot throughout that workshop of what worked well, what worked not so well, what are some of the limits um, that we need to place uh, when we're working with our teens. We had a lot of kids fiddling with their phones a lot and, and typical teen things like that. The most exciting part of all this is we actually received a grant from the uh, Pennsylvania State Rural Arts Alliance and we get to do this again this coming summer and we get to do it um, with a little bit of additional funding. So I'm really excited that we're going to get to do it again. I'm really proud of the works that these kids um, created. It was very interesting to see a group of kids who may not have necessarily been friends or interacted come together and open up and really bloom and feel respected and feel like real artists and to see the power that that had in their lives and I can't wait to do it again this summer. Um, on the screen there's a little bit of information. You can take a look at my library's website. You can also take a look at the website for the You Will Rise project and then if you have any questions, comments, suggestions, um, there's my email there on the screen. You're more than welcome to reach out to me, and I'll help in any way that I can. Great. Thanks, Tiffany. We do have a question from the audience. Laura, would you like to ask um, that? The audience is wondering um, about the artists who led the workshop. Was there a charge? Um, how much did it have cost? I kind of had an in. Paul Richmond is actually my brother-in-law, <laughs> so that's sort of, you know, you do what you can with who you know. <laughs> so that's how we got connected. But um, they they do have a suggested donation to work with them that they were able to sort of waive for me this year because. They were very excited to branch out thanks to the Pennsylvania State Rural Arts Alliance grant that we'll be getting for uh, this summer. We will be able to actually pay them money um, for presentation fees and just sort of a curtsy fee for them traveling here. So it worked out really well um, that we didn't, we got away with minimal cost last year, which was nice. <laughs> what will it cost this year? Um, the grant that we got was for $1,700. Um, and that includes paying them for instruction time and materials as well. Um, so last year, really, our costs were probably $500 for materials and food for the weekend, including the food for the reception. Okay. All right. Great. Well, thank you very much.